As I cited in my prior videos, the Chinese companies have a propensity to spike for days. They could run like a bat out of hell for days, but they're also dangerous. Please trade responsibly. Do not lay out too much cash, all right? Don't be greedy. We actually have some sunshine for other portions of the Bay Area down towards San Jose, East Bay neighborhoods, but still some stubborn overcast here over the city. Matter of hell what you talk about, Mark, man. Let me get up in here and tell the people what's really going on, if you will. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? Wake up! Wake up! Bay Area, man. It's going to be some overcast out here, but don't let that dampen your day. It's still going to be glorious weather in the in-between. Back to you, Christine, in the studio. <laughs> Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, December 8th. And in today's video, I have one play for you. But before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow closed up 0.17% at 36,117, the Dow. The Nasdaq, they spiked 1.37%, settling at 14,339, the Nas. Apple rose 1%. Trading at $194.27, Apple heading to 200 bucks. There were no triple digit closers yesterday. Let's see what happens today. Dave's play today is a SP play. In and out, grab and go, one and move. Do not overstay your welcome. XCUR, XCUR, the stock is up 67% thus far in the pre. Trading at 68 cents at the recording of this video. The higher day thus far. 95 cents if this one retracts below 48 cents this might be a no-go today there's no news out but i suspect bottom fishing the stock made a new 52 week low yesterday x cur has spike ability for example december 19th through december 23rd stock went from 66 cents all the way to a dollar 68 but it's in the biotech space and their headquarters out of illinois let's kick the tires why are you kicking it I ain't going to buy it if I'm worried about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't the, kick it. <laughs> you know what? They were a market cap of 3 million. They have 4 million in the float. 90% of the float are held by insiders. I'll say that again. 90% of the float are held by insiders. This tells me directors and officers are putting their money where their mouth is. Institution has 1% of the float and shorts has... 2% of the float. Profit margin is up 13% year over year. Their operating margin is up 13%. Their ROA return on asset is a positive 7%. They're in the green. Their ROE return on equity is a positive 56%. Let me repeat that. Their ROE return on equity, positive 56% X. C U R. They have 24 million in revenues. Their revenue per share, 3.86. <laughs> they have 9 million in gross profit. Their EBITDA, earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization is 4 million. Their net income, $3 million. They have a total cash of 2.3 million and a total debt of 7 million. Their current ratio is sitting above par. Their current ratio is sitting precisely at 2.56 XCUR. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on X at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Always take care of your downside and let the upside take care of itself. Have a great weekend and I'll see you when I see you. Trade away. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Free market house trading is very risky, it's not for the risk of us.
I thank you very much for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out. October 11th video. This was Dave's play, October the 11th. So two takeaways from this video. I notice the biotech sector is hot. hot. Four out of 10 was in the biotech space. And also China, China might be heating up again. Five out of the 10, 50% of this list were China. China, the Chinese stocks are heating up. If you notice once Trump left office, Chinese stocks collapse. They might be heating up. We wanna be first. We wanna spot the trend early. That's how we are gonna make money. Because if you're not first, you're last. That's all I have for you, ladies and 